I'm the fourth best actor in the family. You must feel, you must. No, I don't think I said that. You must get reckless. You have to keep on putting challenges there for yourself, so that you may grow as an actor. Um, so we got three fantastic South African celebrities um, to come and share their stories with us today. So um, first up will be Hemi Jacobs. Um, he's from Seven Seven Alarm. That's because I didn't have a clue what I want to do with my life, so I did anything and everything. I did children's theatre, puppet theatre, educational theatre. I did statue miming at Four Ways Mall. You must ask yourself if you really, really, really want to do it. Because only the hardest workers and the people with the most passion is going to get to the top. And that's the reality of it. It's been wonderful talking to you so far. Obviously, we are an institution where all our class and live arts little theatres point to view because we are an institution where we like to learn, we want to know. Um, what's going to happen to us in the industry? Um, and, and the first question that I think I'd like to ask you is, um, how, wh what would you like to see? Uh, how is the South African industry at this point? The movie industry is a, is a business. It, it's not all about the art. <laughs> yes, uh, you have to be able to, to act very well. You have to be able to dance a little bit. You have to be able to sing a little bit. You know, not not all of us are singers or dancers, and that that's just a given. Uh, how does one deal with the fact that you go from contract to contract to contract to contract? Um, how do you get into theatre in South Africa? I always knew that I wanted to be an actress from the word go. It took so good advice, like the plays I did, the school. I just all the heart to be it. One day I want to be an actress. So eventually I started working for a lady who did puppet theatre shows and, and things like that. At one stage you think to yourself, this is my job. Been, you've got to be there and be like, you know what, I don't want to do this, I'm going to keep doing it and so on. See, if you can get the chance to do um, children's theatre in your life, go for it, do it. See, that if you put 10,000 hours into your craft, that's when you've perfected it. People are going out there making wonderful, beautiful Afrikaans films. You have to, you have to say yes to everything. Pay your debts. It's very really important to be easy to work with. I'm sure I can demand that or we start to make a little under and then still like to work on the project and claim that I'm going to do it to the focus of the project and like then blow it on skip. An actor has one instrument, and your one instrument is your body. Now. There are lots of drinks flying around, and drugs, and all all kinds of things. Um, do you think it would be wise to kind of steer away from from too much of that? <laughs> yes. Then, um, what do you consider making it as an When have you arrived? How how important do you think professionalism is in this? Yeah, I think it has a time that all is the feel feel groggy that you have to feel that it is. Jij wil niet wegkomen door van ons. Nee, ik heb net ook een ander begonnen denk ik. Dat was mij, ik had een drie maanden contract gekregen. Ik had het elke keer met drie maanden verneemd. En ik was in die wolken. Ik had het zo geen in karakter. Maar ik denk dat dit is wat ze eruit zien. Jij moet het wees. Je weet, dat is eigenlijk wel een vliegtuig in klimmen. En ik weet het even half weet. Maar je klimt wel een vliegtuig en je hebt een body door een mens. Oké, ik voel dat een van de grote areas voor de jongere acteurs is hoe je een agent in Zuid-Afrika krijgt. So, can you just explain a bit about your process, about how you went about getting your agent in South Africa? <laughs> My name is Krista Davids. I started acting at the age of 11 in a TV series called Ole Engela. But when it came to me going to study theatre, my parents denied me that. Um, they didn't want me to go study drama. So I completed an LLB degree, which is a law degree. How important do you think it is for an actor to go study? Uh, well, because I didn't study theatre myself. I know a lot of what people would know who studied theatre. But that's because I grew up with my grandfather who was an actor. So I, what actually makes you an actor is the moment you actually walk onto the stage. Would you have been a lawyer if you weren't an actor? If acting is the first thing you think about when you wake up in the morning, and it's the last thing you think about at night before you go to sleep, then there's something. And that's something will bother you for the rest of your life. What, what is like your dream role? Yo, there's a lot of them. Shakespeare is one of my passions and one of my favorite reading materials. The more plays you read, the more knowledge you gain. 
die herrsche gaan net vir Errol sy auditie. Wat is ons soos baie mense wat al was vir, soos die auditie van hom? Ek het nie auditie gedoen nie.